Hi, hello again, Harry Crosby, 5-Minute Furniture. I know what you're going to say. I know, I know, I know. It's not furniture again. But this is what happened. A friend of mine who'd been watching some of the earlier stuff brought this in to me and it was so fantastic and so amazing that I just simply had to show it to you. When we have a chance, we're all locked at home. We're doing this for a bit of fun with a mobile phone and a piece of string. But this is what this is. This is the original charter that gave the British power over Ireland. It was done in the early 17th century and it was signed by King James I, whose signature itself is here. Will you come in and just show that? Now right in tight, right, right in. That's King James, that's his signature and that's his royal seal, which was broken down in the box and all the bits are in there. The document itself is written on vellum, which is the skin of a goat and it's handwritten. And what it was that they, they were creating a situation which gave the English Protestants uh, the lead vote in our parliament and they created boroughs and each of those boroughs gave two members to the parliament who obviously were Protestants so that they got a majority vote. But the an interesting thing about the people involved in this, James I took over the crown of England from Elizabeth and both of them were friends of Shakespeare, particularly James. He was very, very fond of the plays. He invited Shakespeare many, many times to come to the palace. He probably was one of the guys who'd seen most of the famous plays for the very first time they were performed, like Macbeth and King Lear, all of that stuff probably was him. And because the England was, had the plague at the time, a bit like we have now with the corona, their form of social distancing was that they took the plays out of the globe and they went out into the provinces to try and get away from the plague and survive. And James I kept them going by giving them work in the, up in the palace. And Shakespeare was an, obviously was the greatest writer that ever lived, but he puts pay to the myth that a highly creative person can't be good at business because he was both. Because he invented a company called the Chamberlain's Men, which was his company of the lead actors and himself, but really, really, really smartly and copied by all the great rock bands to stop bickering, everyone got an equal share. So even though he wrote the most famous plays of all time, he made sure that everybody got the same, so there was no fighting. Now, when I discovered that this was from Kilbegan, it reminded me that my daughter Claire and her husband have a studio down there, a, a rock and roll studio, and the famous thing about that was that Michael Jackson went down for a weekend to overdub it and stayed living with them for six months. So what you're getting here, you're getting value for money, you're getting a king, a queen, Shakespeare and Michael Jackson. A lot. So now, where was I? Oh yes, um, I've lost the thought of what I was saying. This document shows the division of Ireland which, has cause, which is causing us problems to this day. This document gave control to the English and to the Protestants by what we would now call the very, very first gerrymander. And we're living with the, with the backlash of this actual document signed by these men, signed by the king with a seal down underneath here. This is not history. This is still alive. If you pick up the, listen to the RTE news tonight, the ramifications of this are still with us every day of the week. And I knew that you'd love to see it. And the last thing I want to say is that the man who brought that into me said, because this is of such importance that he would love the public to see it. So if there's anybody out there watching that would like a loan of this, if they have a big open vestibule of a bank or of one of the big, big institutions somewhere, once it's not too sunny, he would be delighted to lend it to whoever wants it for a couple of months at a time. So here we have a very famous thing, the document which gave the English control of the Irish Parliament, signed by the King himself, a personal friend of William Shakespeare.